Hey, hey. So there he is, huh? Hey. <laughs> so listen, Tony, I know you did a good thing first. I know you've been lying low for a long time. So I want you to take it easy for a while, huh? Vincenzo will look after you. You need some money? Ask him. You need a job? Lucky he'll take care of you. What more could a family guy ask for? Even my son don't got it so good. But, Mr. Leone, I thought we got history. I mean, I've done a lot for this family. And now you're expecting me to take orders from this, this, this... Well, it just doesn't seem right. Tony, I know what you did, and no one is more grateful than me, honestly. But the idea that you walk in here and start to question my leadership right away is, quite frankly, out of order. Kabish. I understand, boss. So when you need something, give Vincenzo a call down at Atlantic Key. He'll take care of you. Won't you, Lucky? Of course, boss. Anything you say. Tell you what, we can go there now. I got you a nice little place to stay, Tony. It's got you written all over it. We'll head there first. Yeah, you're all hard. This is it, Tony. Home sweet home. Beautiful, ain't she? This shithole is supposed to be my home? Oh, I think it's very you. Now you're disrespecting old Vincenzo. Now, tough guy, get your ass upstairs and go put on some decent clothes. I don't got all day, so move. Take me to my place. I got a large office meeting to go to. Hurry up, I'm late for a swinging party. Apartments cost money, Tony. Just you remember who pays the bills around here. Me, Daddy Vincenzo over here. So from now on, you work for me. So I better see you back here real soon. We got a dealer working on North Chinatown, Pats. The lazy bastard ain't brought any cash in in days. Maybe he needs some encouragement to get off his ass and do some work. Acting like a bitch. He kind of reminds me of you. What are you trying to say? I ain't trying to say nothing. 
I'm telling you to get over there and make sure this asshole starts bringing in some goddamn money. So, Vincenzo tells me you're too chicken shit to work your patch. Hey, man, I'm no chicken shit. I, uh, I've been ill as all. <coughs> I'll go back to work tomorrow, or maybe the day after. Oh, I think you're gonna work today, like it or not. Oh, man, I don't feel too good. Listen, man. I told you, Leo. Tiny tails don't go for the Leones now. This is Dago's moving in. If I go back there, I'm a dead man. Sure, sure. I'm telling you, man. This is Dago's a dealing. Vinny! Uh, for crying out loud, Tony! Don't I get any peace? I'm already all blocked up. Last thing I need is you on my case. Uh, but it's just still here. You know, I'm still not seeing any money coming in from that dealer. You know why? Enlighten me. Because he's dead, idiot. Some chump whacked him. Sindakos has started dealing. And on Leone Turk, too. You gonna accept that, Tony? I want you to get over to Chinatown! All right, boss. I'm on it. Oh, for God, why is there never any goddamn paper in here? Stay off Leone Tarf, asshole! Thanks, pretty boy. Uh, you wanna say something? Come on, hard, man. You want some more, asshead? Oh! 
big mistake. Oh. Hey, back off. Leone's dealing this city, nobody else. You hear no me, you say No fucks. romance. We ain't gonna win this one. Remember J.D. O'Toole? Difficult to forget. Yeah, he's currently running a Sindaco controlled titty bar. <laughs> I mean, gentleman's club. The interesting thing is, he wants to be a Leone now. Fuck him, he made his choice. Hello, brain cell. Jeez, Tony, Sal said you was dumb muscle. But I didn't think anyone was that dumb. We can use J.D. to get the drop on Sindaco's plans. He's gonna be up on the inside. There's just one thing. He's being sat on by some Sindaco ape. I want you to remove this little obstacle and get JD on our side. Capiche? Constitutional right, you moron. You still owe me money. Take that Sindaco chump's car's deposit, huh? Just be spraying so no one recognizes them. 
Uh, uh, I'll take care of his body. Thank you.